Yeah, we just had our anniversary. Um, we've been around for about six years. And uh, essentially at Loyola Law School in Chicago, we thought about um, starting an innocence organization. So there are now about 70 innocence organizations in the United States. That's something like the Innocence Project in New York, the Center on Wrongful Convictions here in Chicago, sometimes uh, local law firms. And basically those people work to get people out of jail who are innocent. Um, there's estimated to be, if, if we have 2.2 million people in prison, um, a safe estimate is that 5% of those people are um, innocent. So we're talking tens of thousands of people likely innocent in prison. So um, we thought about starting an innocence organization at Loyola because we're in Chicago. Chicago, um, the Chicago area, fortunately or unfortunately, has a lot of wrongful convictions, meaning we are finding a fair number of convictions which were not uh, accurate and where the person was innocent. So we thought maybe there's more, maybe we should help. And as I started uh, talking to people, I've, I met Barry Sheck in New York who runs the Innocence Project, and I talked to Rob Warden and um, Karen Daniel at Center on Wrongful Convictions, you know, the people doing this work. And they said there's definitely more work to be done, but um, what we've looked at was that People who are getting out of prison who are innocent, there just really are no governmental services for them. So in other words, if if two people do 20 years, let's say you and I do 20 years in prison, the whole time I admitted to it. I was like, I couldn't take my editor on this project and I just had to take him out. Um, and you the whole time have been saying you're innocent. If we do the same 20 years and finally like DNA exonerates you, and finally, I've served my 20 years. We walk out of prison the same day. I'm a convicted, admitted, you know, murderer. You're innocent. I will get more services from the state than you will. So what we decided to do was instead of starting another innocence organization, we started an after innocence organization so that we could help out those people who are going through this very surreal journey of being accused for something you didn't do doing time. I work with so many people who've done decades um, and then are starting over in this surreal world where they usually don't um, understand the technology. They maybe haven't had any you know, cell phone use. So that's what we're doing at Loyola Law School in Chicago. The organization is called Life After Innocence.